Hi everyone! Today we're doing a full body stability ball Pilates workout. This workout targets every muscle group, strengthens the core, and improves mobility. Let's get started lying down on the mat. And we're going to place our feet onto the ball about hips distance apart or about a grapefruit's distance apart from each other. Feet are in parallel, heels on. And they're in a solid number 11, so not turned out or in. So I like to just pick my head up, make sure they're in the shape of a number 11. Arms are long by your sides. And then walk your fingertips down the mat to pull the shoulders away from the ears. Suction cup the backs of the arms into the mat from the fingertips, palms of the hands, all the way to the back of the triceps. Spine is nice and neutral here. Take an inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna extend the legs out long, straightening out those legs. And then inhale, come back into your tabletop. Exhaling, straighten those legs out and inhaling in. So we're just warming up here, sort of like if you've ever been to a reformer class and you're doing footwork on the reformer, this is kind of mimicking that, but it definitely targets the hamstrings and the backs of the legs in a little bit of a unique way compared to that reformer. And just focus on moving both legs in and out evenly here. We'll do one more like that. Then bend the knees in, find that tabletop. You're gonna hover that right heel off of the ball, just slightly. So almost pretending like it's still on the ball, but it's just slightly hovered. We're gonna extend both legs out at the same time, trying to move them on the same schedule and then bend them back in. So again, we're pretending like both heels are still on the foot bar or on the ball, sorry. And we're trying to just extend those legs out evenly. Maintaining that nice neutral spine, abs pulled in here. Good, on this next one, we're gonna hold that ball out. We're gonna point that right toe. We're gonna lift that leg up to the ceiling, flex the foot and lower it back down. And we're trying to keep that ball as stable as possible. So try not to let it shift side to side. And that'll give us good feedback on if our hips are shifting side to side. So we wanna try to keep our hips parallel to each other. See if you can find as much length in that leg as possible. Nice neutral spine here. On this next one, let's hold that leg lifted straight up to the ceiling and around a 90 degree angle. We're gonna bring it one or two inches to the side and back to center. So it's a small move back to the center and to the side. And we're only going as far as we can keep those hips stable. So again, use that ball as feedback to see what the hips are doing. So if the ball is moving, it probably means your hips are shifting. Now let's hold it out to the side. We're gonna draw small circles here. Going slow and controlled, trying to keep that ball still as we draw circles. Easier said than done. Let's switch directions with our circles drawing around five circles in the other direction. Slow and controlled here. Don't forget to breathe. Good, bring that leg back to center, send it into tabletop, and then let's set that heel down. Check in with your feet, make sure they're still in that solid number 11. Let's bend the legs back into tabletop. Let's hover that left heel off of, the, off of the ball. We're gonna extend that ball all the way out and then bring it all the way in. Straightening through those legs to send that ball out. Bending at the knees to draw that ball in. Trying to move both legs on, on the same schedule here 
trying to keep those hips level, trying to keep that ball stable. Let's do one more here. Hold it out straight. You're gonna point that left toe, bring it up to your 90, flex that foot and lower it down. Again, check in with that ball. Try to keep it nice and stable here. Try not to let it move. If it's moving, you probably have to lower that range of motion a little bit or slow it down. On this next one, let's hold it all the way lifted. Bring that leg to the side and back. Again, trying not to move that ball as you go to the side and back. <laughs> Mine's definitely moving a little bit. So try to tighten through that core. That will help you stay stable. And just really focus on keeping those hips from rocking side to side. On this next one, let's hold it out to the side. Draw small controlled circles here. Going for five in each direction. Abs pulled in. We got about two more in this direction. Now let's switch directions with the circles. See if you can find length in that leg. Try to keep those hips stable. Abs pulled in. I can definitely feel my ball rocking. So this ball is like such good feedback. All right, let's bring that leg back to center, bring it into tabletop, set that heel down. And then we're gonna just draw the ball in to where we're back in tabletop. And my feet are on the ball, not on the top of the apex of the ball, but kind of like going down the hill of the ball, if that makes sense. Um, whatever's comfortable for you. So I have my entire feet on the ball but you may choose to go on your heels. So see what kind of works for your anatomy here. And then just try to find like a nice tabletop with your legs. Again, arms long by the sides, make sure those shoulders are pulled down away from the ears. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna tuck that pelvis under and begin to roll up one vertebra at a time, sending your hips up to your bridge. Inhale it up here. Exhale, you're gonna roll it back down, articulating down the spine one vertebra at a time. Like it's a long string of pearls, you're laying one pearl down at a time. Find that neutral pelvis as you inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tuck that pelvis under, begin to roll up again. Try to keep some space between your chin and your chest as you roll up. So don't go so far up on the shoulders. Just try to keep the shoulder blades connected to that mat. We'll do two more articulations here. Slight tuck of the tailbone when you're up there, abs pull in, try to hold that ball still. <laughs> I've definitely got the shakes already. On this next one, you're gonna hold it up at the top and then you're gonna extend that ball all the way out. Try to find your straight legs. My toes come off of the ball as I do this. And we're trying to find a straight line here from your ankles to your hips, to your shoulders. And then you're gonna drag that ball back in. So we're doing like a little hamstring curl here. Really warming, warming up the backside of the body working those hamstrings, working those glutes. Good, try to keep those abs pulled in. Last one here, let's keep that ball in. We're gonna pulse the hips up and down an inch. Really squeeze those glutes. Try to keep that ball still as you do this. Last three, last two, 
Last one, lift your hips one inch higher. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, slowly articulate down one vertebra at a time. Tailbone is the last thing to come down. Find that neutral spine when you're down here. Great job. Let's grab onto the ball with our feet and let's just extend that ball up to the ceiling. Flex those toes back. Grab behind the thighs or higher if you want. Just doing a little hamstring stretch here. All right, and then I'm just gonna grab onto that ball with my hands. I'm gonna extend my arms long up to the ceiling. So try to stack those wrists right over the shoulders. Bring your right leg in a tabletop, then bring your left leg in a tabletop. Try to find that neutral spine. And then you're going to extend the right leg out to your single leg stretch as you lift your head, neck, and chest. Lower it down and then switch sides. So back into tabletop, right leg extends out, tabletop as head lowers down, then left leg extends out. And really think of reaching up rather than over the legs. So almost like you're trying to reach that ball up to the ceiling first. Each time you lift, abs pull in. So think of drawing that navel to the spine. On this next one, right leg extends. You're gonna cross over, try to tap the ground with the ball. Come back up as you lower that chest, leg comes into tabletop, then switch sides. And again, try to think up and over. And then pay attention with, with what's going on with those hips. Make sure they're staying glued to the mat, that they're not rocking side to side. If they are, maybe don't reach all the way to the ground, like maybe keep the ball hovering a little bit more. So find that range of motion that works for you. Let's do one more each side, even ourselves out here. And let's lower it down. And then we're gonna lift up our head, neck and chest, extend the arms, extend the legs. You're gonna pass the ball to in between your ankles, extend everything out again, circle the arms around, grab that ball, extend everything away from each other. So it's sort of like a double leg stretch. And really squeeze that ball with those ankles so that you don't lose it. And try to extend everything out evenly on the same schedule so that ball will give you feedback on if whether or not your legs are straightening at the same time. Last one here. Let's lower everything down. Take just a little break here. One deep breath in. Exhale it out. All right. And then let's lift the head, neck, and chest up. Think of extending that ball to the ceiling. You're gonna extend the right leg out to your 45. Left leg is gonna come up to your 90. You're going to bend that right knee in as you lower that left leg down with a straight leg. Right leg extends up to tap the ball. So we're just going into bicycles here. Try to keep that head, neck, and chest lifted the entire time. Think of reaching the leg, reaching the ball up to the ceiling. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> <sighs> Let's do a couple more. 
One more each side. Abs pull in. Last one. Let's lower everything down. Ooh, that was intense. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna come on up. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of roll up. And then we're gonna bring the ball kind of in the middle of the mat, just so we have room. And then we're going to be in a kneeling position. We're going to lie our hip onto the edge of the ball. Make sure you're like nice and centered with your body. And then just really slowly, you're gonna lie down sideways onto the ball. Let your hand find the floor. So it's kind of like we're coming into a side plank. So the inside knee is gonna stay making contact with the floor. And then you're gonna extend that other leg out. Now check in with your body here. So make sure you're not just like lounging into that ball. Use this hand to push your body away from that ball. So almost as if it's not even there, but it is giving you a little bit of support. From here, make sure your body is nice and stacked. So hips are nice and stacked, shoulders nice and stacked. You're gonna tap that toe down to the ground with a straight leg and then lift it up. Tap it down and lift. Working through the side body here. Good. Make sure your abs are pulling in. Try not to let the upper body move as you do this. So it's just the leg that's creating that movement. Now hold that leg up here, hold it lifted. You're going to flex the foot, move it forward just a couple of inches, point the toe and move it back. So use this ball as feedback. We're trying not to allow that upper body to move. So if you feel the ball moving, lower your range of motion. So this just really doesn't have to be big at all. And we're pulling the belly button in to create the movement of the leg going back and forth. Last one here. Bring that leg back to center. You're gonna draw small circles here. Slow and control, check in with those shoulders. Make sure they're pulling away from the ears. I felt mine wanting to come up to the ears. Let's switch directions with the circle. Again, use that ball as feedback. It's such good feedback. One more circle here. Let's lower that leg down and let's just actually keep it extended. We're gonna walk that hand out away from us and just kind of lie onto that ball, going into our side bend stretch here. So use that ball to help you find that arch in the side body, like that rainbow shape. And just breathe, enjoy this nice stretch here. Feels so good. Try not to let your chest drop. So try to keep that chest open. So take one more deep breath in through the nose. Exhale it out. And then let's slowly come up. Be really careful so that you don't fall. All right, and then you're going to just rest your hand onto the ball kind of, um, actually I'm gonna turn sideways so you can just see what I'm doing. But your arm is kind of like parallel to the side seam of your pants. And then your palm of your hand is pressing into the ball facing behind you. Let's extend that opposite arm out in front of us. Palm is facing in. And then just check in with your shoulders, make sure they're like engaged back into the socket. So we don't want them forward. We wanna engage them in the shoulder socket down the back. From here, with a flat back, so find the straightest spine that you can, you're going to lean back and then you're gonna take that hand that's on the ball and you're gonna rotate it. Finding a rotation here 
So we're going into thigh stretch with a rotation. And then you're just gonna bring that ball forward again to your starting position. So leaning back with a flat back, rotating towards me. And then rotating forward. We'll do a few more here. Trying to keep your hips pointing forward as you do this. So try not to let them get shifty and rotate with your body. So just the upper body is where we want the rotation. Let's do one more here. See if you can lean back a little bit further. All right, come all the way back up. And we're gonna switch sides. So we'll go into that side body plank first. So hip makes contact with that ball. Inside knee stays bent. You're gonna extend that outside leg. Hand comes to the floor. Make sure you're nice and centered on the ball. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. Pushing away from the ground. Extend that leg long with a pointed toe. You're gonna tap that toe down to the ground. Lift it up. Again, check in with what that shoulder's doing. Make sure it's pulled away from the ear. Nice long spine. Abs pulled in, rib cage knitted together. I like to flare mine out, so I have to remind myself. All right, let's hold it lifted, flex the toe, bring it forward, point the toe, send it back. Again, checking in with that ball for feedback. Is it moving? If it is, go slower or lower that range of motion. Last two here. Last one. Hold that leg out there, toes pointed, draw small circles with that leg, slow and controlled. Good, switch directions. Check in with that shoulder, is it wanting to come up? Check in with those hips, nice and stacked. Last one here. Lower that leg down, send that arm out away from you as you fold over that ball, finding your side bend stretch. This feels so good. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. We'll do one more breath cycle here. Come all the way up. Again, hand finds that ball. I'll turn sideways again for you. So lining that arm up with like the side seam of your pants. Opposite arm extends long out in front of us, shoulders engaged on the back. Lean back as you rotate. Nice straight back and come up. Try to keep those hips shining forward. Just the upper body rotates. Can you lean back even more? Try to keep a flat back. Straight spine. We'll do a few more here. Can you lean back more? Can you make that spine even straighter? Yes, we can. <laughs> Last one here. And come all the way up. Woo, shake it out for a minute. <clears throat> all right, and then we're gonna go into a little bit of a swan series here. So make sure you're kind of scooted back towards the back side of the mat because you'll need some room in front of you. And then actually let's just do some extension work first. So 
you're going to lie on the ball on your belly in a prone position. Your chest will be hanging off the ball. Legs are extended long out behind you. And then just make sure you have a nice solid connection with your hands in the mat and your wrists are kind of lined up right underneath your shoulders. From here, ground through the balls of the feet so that you're connected with your feet into the mat. Pull that belly button away from the ball as much as you can. So press that pubic bone down into the ball to connect yourself even more there. You're going to extend the right arm long out in front of you. Lift the chest slightly, lower it down, put pressure into that right palm as you extend the left arm long out in front of you. Set it down. We'll just do one more each side here. Just getting a feel for what this feels like. Good. And then we're going to do the legs. So right leg extends long out and behind you. Lower it down. Then the left leg extends. And we're trying not to let the hips shift. So that ball will give you feedback. So you can feel if your hip is not connected. So try to keep it connected. Try not to let them lift and shift. We'll just do one more on the left side, even ourselves out. And then on this next one, we're gonna add the arms with the legs. So right leg extends as the left arm extends. Everything lowers down. And then we'll do the opposite. And this is where you'll really find the imbalances here. Like, I think it's much harder when I extend the left leg and the right arm, which is kind of funny because I'm left-handed. <laughs> but, you know, it's different every day. Sometimes it's the opposite. <laughs> One more each side. Try to find more length as you extend. Great job. All right, let's just lean back for a minute. And then I want to come back onto our stomach on the ball, but we're gonna line up a little bit further off of the ball. So kind of like our belly button is more in line with the edge. And then we're going to bend at the knees. So the knees will be wide apart, maybe about a shoulders, shoulders distance apart, a little bit further. And then our big toes are together and our heels are apart. So we're kind of making like a, a diamond shape or kind of like froggy legs. And then just make sure you're not sinking into the shoulder blades. So push your body away from the floor. Pull that belly button in. You're going to send the toes up to the ceiling. You'll bring the thighs together and then lower back down to your starting position. So we're kind of squeezing through the inner thighs and the glutes, trying to lift those legs off of the ball as much as we can. Don't forget to breathe. We'll do two more like this. Last one. Now knees are apart, big toes are together. Lift those thighs off of the ball just slightly. So you're engaging through the in inner parts of the glutes to give you that slight lift. Abs pull in. You're gonna bend at the elbows and just hinge forward keeping that engagement with the glutes, and then push yourself up. So you're just teeter-tottering forward and back up. Keep those abs pulled in as you do this. Good. Two more like this. Keep those thighs lifted. So as you come up, try to keep that lift in those thighs. Last one here. 
come all the way up. You're gonna extend the legs nice and long and the feet will parallel. And then we're gonna go into a little swan dive here. So find length in the body and then push your body away from the mat. So again, no sinking in the shoulders. Nice, strong posture here. You're gonna bend at the elbows, teeter-totter forward. My toes are cramping. And then push yourself back up. So wiggle off those toes if you need to. Diving forward and back. Let's do two more like that. This is just a fun one, I think. Last one. And then you're gonna roll yourself back. And then just send your butt towards your heels. Knees nice and wide as you send that ball forward. Coming into child's pose. Breathe into it here, in through the nose. Exhale it out. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it all go. One more deep breath here. Exhale out. And then roll yourself all the way up to seated position, rounding through the spine. Pull that ball towards you. Come up to your straight spine. And we are finished. Great job, everyone.